few years. I can show you here. Um, so this is the flexor of a thumb, right? That's the deep flexor of the fingers. And you got a set of four tendons coming from the deep flexor of the fingers, right? On top of the deep flexor of the fingers, you have the superficial flexor of the finger. And they have another set of four tendons, meaning this, the tendon from the flexor of the fingers don't go to the thumb because the thumb has its own muscle, right? So the flexor of the fingers that you see here flex only these four fingers. They don't flex uh, the thumb. The thumb is independent, right? On so now we had two layers of flexor of the fingers, right? And um, now we have on top of it the muscle that we have seen today, which are the flexor of the hand and the pronato, which the pronato is not a flexor, it pronates at the hand, right? But now we have all this one here, the superficial that flex the, the hand like this, bring, bring the hand in like this, right? So um, I simply omitted this because there were too many muscles and I prefer to focus on the superficial anatomy. So the, the hand, the, the arm is really, really uh, complex. There's a lot of muscles in there, right? Clearly more than, um, more complex than the foot because the hand don't have to do that kind of, movement, I mean, the feet all had to do that kind of movement that the hands have to do, so. But you see now, now that these muscles in here, each one has its own individual, to start from one group of muscle, right? But then, uh, um, then from this group of muscle, four tendon stems, so we're gonna have a specific fascicle, uh, sp specialized, dedicated to moving each finger, right? But. You think of this, that the thumb has to be in very mobile, right? Very mobile. So it needs to be independent. It needs to have a specific muscle, right? Uh, same thing for these, for the superficial flexor. They start with one big chunky muscle. And then at the end, you have four tendons stemming out uh, from that. And these tendons can overlap each other and kind of, kind of intertwine uh, as they get to the hand, right? So this muscle, the muscle that flex the hand has to be really strong, right? You got to hold on that branch and hold it, otherwise you fall down and the panther will eat you. But opening, opening, it's not, uh, is not necessary to have um, um, a, a a big muscular form to open in the, the hand. You just have to open this one. But these these are these need to be more complex because the the the, the action of 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 closing the fingers. Is, is more complex, right? And it requires also more strength. 